Costco in Japan is what I consider a cultural phenomenon. Okay, so today we're going to see how Costco does the holidays. It amazes me how a store so finely tuned for Westerners does so well in Japan. I mean, this place is always packed when we come. They've obviously found their formula works in Japan. Certainly the place to be. So when the holidays come around, what kinds of things are they selling? Well, let's go see. Okay. This is the place where my kids always want to come. You know, they come to Costco. It's the Christmas, especially what scary Halloween person <laughs> There's always at least one. So, where would you put a large Mickey? I don't know. I don't know. We do not have yards like this. <laughs> we smell like that. This is my dream tree. I know it's just a dead tree with lights, but I love it. <laughs> And if I ever had a big entry, I would love these one on each side of my door. If I want, want to go to Narnia. Yeah, I know. That is the Narnia post, isn't it? It is. And <laughs> then you get to choose mostly from Disney. Yeah. A lot of Disney gift options. We have this. We might have Ariel. We have Belle. I don't know if we have Frozen, though. We have Cinderella, I think. We have a lot. Too much. Try to get rid of them. We had Raya. Oh. I finally got her to get rid of Raya. Oh. And the Dungle Mushi it rides on. <laughs> this seems like something my girls would like, especially Sarah, because you can put all those dumb little things inside of it. But honestly, I don't want to deal with making my own bath bombs. Too much work. Grandma does that type of stuff. We'll let them do it with Grandma. I see something else. Oh, the piece of furniture? You can either get that or a sofa. You cannot do both. <laughs> the thing is so big. This could kill you. <laughs> it is heavy. Yeah. Do you remember when our kids were into this? Oh, my. And it got everywhere. Oh, my. God. It's a blush puppy. <gasps> Maybe we should get that for the kids this year. Say, so, hey, we got your dog. Yeah. That's fake. Sarah already has three dogs on the Yeah, bed. well, they probably don't need that then. But it sure is cute. I mean, I'm sure that's the idea. And it's on sale. This is what I want to get, a magic hover ball. What's it do? Magically it hovers. So you like throw it and you have to kind of catch it. What? I don't think I've ever seen it. I bought one for a friend who's a video teaches basic principles of rocketry. Of rocketry? It's rocket science? It teaches children about trajectory and propulsion, the basic principles of rocketry. Look, I've seen on TikTok. <laughs> there you go, mini cars or mini drones. Or one of these. They love that they one. They do love Legos. They play with it like crazy. I like Lego things because one, it's not an electronic. Two, they have to use their minds and read the instructions. And three, with different pieces, they play a lot. Our friends gave them a friend's Lego set a couple months ago, and they played so long. And here's Halloween. Oh, we made it. Here you go. Oh. Here's the guy. He's just as ugly as you would ever want. Oh, but they have boxes of chocolates this time. Oh, interesting. Matching skeletons. Yep. Or the posting head. Oh, look, this guy's rocking out now. These guys, too. You can tell the popularity of Christmas versus Halloween in Japan just by looking at how small the Halloween section is in comparison to the Christmas section. Costumes, that's cool. Yeah. Fire department, air force, princesses. Just one end of an aisle is for Halloween. The rest is all Christmas. Oh my goodness, look at that tiny princess. Yes. <laughs> They're right across here. Look at all this. You're right. Look at all these bows. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Now we're in Bruce Wheelhouse. But it's still all busy. I'm not a huge oh. But the hippo. Oh my goodness. If Sarah sees that hippo. Game over. Okay, let's move on to more Christmas. Moving on. Aw. The music. Oh, these are cute. I live in that apartment. I don't need outdoor hanging things. Oh, although we loved decorating outdoors when we could. 
these stars. Debbie and I were here recently and we thought, oh, on her mantle next to her TV, wouldn't that be beautiful? Oh, it would be so pretty there. Hey, okay, let's keep going. Dinosaurs. Oh my goodness. Now we're firmly into the toys here. Yes. <laughs> oh my, that is huge. Oh, this is the DJ star. I think that was the actual cherry right there. That looks fun. That looks fun. And then I have to put it away and store it. We deal with toys for adults. And how you work off the holidays. We like checking out the seasonal section whenever we come because it is constantly changing, unlike the rest of the store, which stays more or less consistent. I want a magnet box, but I want a different type of magnet box. Magnetic this. blocks. Oh, Those are a lot of fun to play with, even as an adult. <laughs> Let's get my kids their own vehicle. Oh gosh. Look, you can get your own personal sauna. That's a personal sauna? It sure is. Look at that. Wow. But not all of the seasonal items are just for fun. There's some very practical items as well. Oh, hand warmers. I'm not doing food. It's got a built-in... A, a hoodie with a lamp on it? Yeah. That's kind of cool. Crazy. Oh, how much is this now? It is on sale. Uh-oh. It's hard for Ruth to pass up a good piece of practical camping gear, especially when it's on sale. But this time we're going to pass. Oh, you know what I actually thought about getting for my kids? But don't show it on the video because they're going to watch this video. That. This outdoor seating. It's beautiful. It's beautiful, but <laughs> where would you? Beautiful, but yeah, I've never seen one used in Japan. I'm sure they do because they always have them and they for sale. They apparently sell them, but they're huge. If I ever bought a house where I could have my own sofa outside. <laughs> thing I love to buy here at Costco are their blankets. They're throw plush blankets. They're just so soft, and we use them so much in the winter. Oh, so oh. So, it's for casual living. I live casually. <laughs> oh, it's so beautiful. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh my goodness is right. I think it's too short for Sarah. Otherwise, oh my. <laughs> Those are awesome. I don't know if I've seen that kind of thing. The koala. And I probably need this for a gift for someone. But for us, some of the best seasonal delights are found just a few rows over. Ooh, hoo, 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 hoo. It's chilly. Get some grapes for the kids. They really do up there. Carrots. Oh, carrots. They have it. Almost baking season. I need butter. Butter. It's got the milk as well. The holidays wouldn't be the same without food. Can we get a sharp cheddar too? Sure. Here we go. I love sparkling water. I'm gonna get it. Puts his flavored vinegar in it. That's right. Looking for my drinking vinegar. That's what I like in my carbonated water. Mm, it's a good price though. Found it and got four of them. These things are awesome in the carbonated water. I love it. I spill on your jacket. What? What are you having? <laughs> Little dairy beef or something. Is it good? Mm -hmm. While Costco in Japan has plenty of foreign goods, it is also chock full of popular local items as well, some of which we've come to depend on. We're looking specifically for the crackers. Here's some, but they're like the kids' cracker cookie things. Sweet. Sweet. Oh, there's BB Star ramen. We just got in our souvenirs. Finally, we found what we were looking for. Sunday. As well as some old staple items. Look, the classic mixed nuts now comes in bags, but it reduced the plastic and probably raised the price in the process too. Another Christmas thing. Another Christmas thing. Skincare. Skincare advent calendar. Oh my. Body lotion, cuticle cream, <laughs> cream. How fun is that? And with that, we checked out and then did the other thing you do at Costco. Stand in line. Here we go. Today was just a quick trip, but we'll go home and show you what we typically get when we come. One last thing to do, show them our receipt and leave. <laughs> this is like 
the least amount that we usually buy when we come, isn't it? Back at home, Ruth pulled out our staple Costco items, no matter the season. Okay, so here are some of the things that I typically get at Costco. Well, I say typically, but like mac and cheese, I buy this maybe once every two years because there's like 40 boxes of mac and cheese in one box and it takes us about two years to go through it. <laughs> and then I buy oven paper, like wax paper. I also buy aluminum foil, but I haven't recently because I still have plenty of aluminum foil. Bagels, my kids love bagels. These little breads, I'm already eating some. English muffins, these breads, but they go bad quite quickly because I think because they're so healthy, so I have to freeze them. Lettuce, oh, yeah. great deal. I bought carrots today, like you saw. Coffee. Flavored coffee, cranberry juice. I always buy this. That is a staple. That stuff, drinking vinegar. I use this as sweetener. And I always buy rice there, either whole grain or white rice. Sometimes oatmeal, but you have to remember that it's bulk, so don't buy it every time. Tissues like Kleenex for napkins. I used to buy toilet paper there, but I just have no space to store toilet paper, so I do not buy toilet paper anymore. I still buy paper towels. It's like 24 rolls of paper towels as well. It takes me a long time to go through 24 rolls. And meat, right? Oh, and meat. I always buy ground beef, 100% ground beef, chicken, and like yakiniku meat, and pizzas. We like their pizzas. But my kids said recently, don't buy any more pizza, mom, we're tired of pizza. <laughs> all right. Well, we can pull, put it all back now, right? Sure. And that's that. That's Costco at the holidays for you. Please like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time on Life in Japan. Bye-bye.